scientists are racing to solve the enduring mystery of how a large, dangerous carnivore evolved into our best friend. The dog was the first domesticated species. Recent DNA studies have thrown new light on the dog's wolf ancestor, and an ambitious project is now underway to nail down the timing and location of dog domestication. That's our topic in today's video, so let's begin. When you have nurtured for dogs and wild wolves from the time they are more than a week old, then you are wise to their differences. Since 2008, Wolf Science Center in Austria and ethologist Zofia Verney and her colleagues have been raising the two species to figure out what makes a wolf into a dog. They have trained the wolves and dogs to follow basic commands, to walk on leashes and to use their nose to tap the screen of a computer monitor so that they can take cognition tests. Yet despite having lived and worked with the scientists for several years, the wolves retain an independence of mind and behavior that is most undoglike. You can leave a piece of meat on a table and tell one of our dogs, no, and he will not take it. Let the wolves ignore you. They'll look into your eyes and grab the meat. When this happens, that question arise again how the wolf ever became the domesticated dog. You can't have an animal, a large carnivore, living with you and behaving like that. You want an animal that's like a dog, one that accepts no. The center's researchers have discovered that dogs' understanding of the absolute no may be connected to their breed, which are not egalitarian like wolves, but dictatorial. Wolves can eat together, even if a dominant wolf flashes its teeth and growls at a subordinate. The lower rank member does not move away. However, that habit is not in dogs. Subordinate dogs will rarely eat at the same time as the dominant one. Even, they don't even try. How the independent-minded, egalitarian wolf changed into the obedient, waiting for orders dog and what role ancient humans played in achieving this feat. We try to imagine how they did it, and we really can't do that. Although researchers have successfully determined the time, location, and ancestry of nearly every other domesticated species, from sheep, cattle, and chickens, but they fail to determine such things about dogs. Scientists also know why humans develop these other domesticated animals to have food close at hand, but they do not know what inspired us to allow a large, wild carnivore into the family homestead. Yet dogs were the first domesticated species, a status that makes the mystery of their origin that much more perplexing. In the past few years, scientists they have made several breakthroughs. They can now say with confidence that contrary to received wisdom, Dogs are not descended from the gray wolf species that persists today across much of the northern hemisphere, from Alaska to Siberia to Saudi Arabia, but from an unknown and extinct wolf. They are also certain that this domestication event took place while humans were still hunter-gatherers and not after they became agriculturalists, as some investigators had proposed. At what time and in what location wolves became dogs and whether it was only a one-time event are questions that a large research team are visiting museums, universities, and other institutions around the world to study collections of canine fossils and bones, and they are readying genetic samples from ancient and modern dogs and wolves for the most comprehensive comparison to date. When modern humans arrived in Europe, perhaps many years ago, they encountered the gray wolf and other types of wolves, including the megafaunal wolf, which were hunting large animals such as mammoths. By that time, wolves had already proved themselves among the most successful, an adaptable species in the Canid family, having spread across Eurasia to Japan and into the Middle East and North America. They were not confined to a single habitat type but flourished in tundra, steppe lands, deserts, forests, coastal regions in the high altitude of the Tibetan Plateau, and they competed with the newly arrived humans for the same prey, mammoths, deer, aurochs, woolly rhinoceroses, antelopes and horses. In spite of this competition, one type of wolf, perhaps a descendant of a megafaunal wolf, apparently began living close to people. For many years, scientists concurred on the basis of small portions of the genome that this species was the modern gray wolf and that this canid alone gave rise to dogs. That's it for today's video. Thank you for watching.